On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus, being ever the good debater, answered, what is written in the law? How do you read it? Well, the expert answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and your mind and Love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this, and you will live. Not satisfied, though, the expert pressed the repartee. And, so who is my neighbor? That may have been a step too far, because Jesus answered with a story, the parable of the Good Samaritan. One thing that is often lost on the modern audience is that at the time this was written, Good Samaritan wasn't a thing. Good Samaritan would have been an oxymoron, sort of like military intelligence. I can say that because I was in the military. <laughs> Good Samaritan. The Samaritans and the Jews at the time are said to have been embittered enemies. Embittered enemies. So I invite you for just a moment before we hear the parable to walk with me, to travel with me on a little exercise. Think of someone that you despise or you can't stand, or you consider a threat to your very survival or way of life. Don't say it out loud. <laughs> now imagine that your, your power was out recently in the ice storm, or you'd slid off a, a scary snowy road, or some, some really frightening thing that happened to you. And then that person, that person shows up with hot dinner and a backup generator, no questions asked. Or they stop and they call a tow truck for you and they wait until it arrives. They pay the bill and leave. What's that? That doesn't happen. We're sworn enemies. We are sworn enemies. Well, I'm learning. I am learning that Jesus was a smart guy, no matter what we think of him these days. He was a smart guy. And he loved what I like to refer to as a good mic drop moment. <laughs> so when this legal expert challenged him to reveal the secret to eternal life, he challenges the expert's expertise right off the bat. Well, I don't know. What does your fancy Torah law tell you? Back, back and forth they go. The expert holds his ground until he asks them and says, yes, you're right, that is the secret to eternal life. Love your neighbor as yourself. The expert says, so who is my neighbor? Jesus answers, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He, when he was attacked by robbers, that was a dangerous road. <laughs> It still is a risky, a twisty road, I'm told, by people who have walked it. These people stripped him of his clothes. They tore his clothes from his body. They beat him, and they went away, leaving him half dead. A priest, a Jewish priest, so from the same people, these are my people. These are supposedly the good ones. If there is an us and a them, this priest would be part of the us. The priest happened to be going down the same road. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, again, us, not them, us. 
The Levite, when he came to the place and he saw him, the Levite passed by on the other side. And I said, he. It doesn't say the Levite was a man. So I'll say she passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, that person, that one, a Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was, and when he saw him, took pity on him. He went to him and he bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and he took care of him. That's simple. He took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii. A denarius would have been a day's pay at the time. So two days' wages he takes out of his pocket, gives them to the innkeeper and says, look after him. When I return, I'll reimburse you for any extra expense you have if that wasn't enough. And Jesus says, which one of these do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him? Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Mic drop. <laughs> what does your fancy book tell you about who is us and who is them? Who do we think about when we think about us and them? This month's worship theme is honor. We've heard the word honor many times this morning, including in our community offering. And I think this parable is one in the Bible that gets it right when it talks about the meaning, the true meaning of honor among other things. bring you the words of Eusebius. May I be no one's enemy, and may I be the friend of that which is eternal and abides. May I wish for every person's happiness and envy none. May I never rejoice in the ill fortune of one who has wronged me. May I, to the extent of my power, give needful help to all who are in want. May I never fail a friend. May I respect myself. May I always keep tame that which rages within me. <coughs> May I accustom myself to be gentle and never be angry with others because of circumstances. May I know good people and follow in their footsteps. Beloved community, this tradition, our tradition of Unitarian Universalism is about many things, one of which is knowing good people and following in their footsteps, be they Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, pagan, Buddhist, first people, on and on and on. May I know good people and follow in their footsteps. And may I learn bits of wisdom, like this one from the parable of the Good Samaritan. One man come in the name of love. One man come and go. One man come he to justify. One man to overthrow. One is caught on a barbed wire fence. One man he resists. One man washed up on an empty beach. One man betrayed with a kiss. Early evening, April 4th, shot rings out in the Memphis sky. 
free at last, they took your life. But they could not take your pride. Those words were written by Bono, the Irish rock band U2. As I was preparing for this, I had the, the joy of sitting with Bono and reading and watching and listening to him talk about where this comes from. He started, the name of the song is Pride, by the way, Pride in the Name of Love. And while he started it as a protest song against the policies of Ronald Reagan and what he saw as the hypocrisy of this supposed strength that was uh, being espoused at the time, that song at the time, it rang hollow to him until he saw a piece about Martin Luther King, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And he was inspired, and so the song transformed itself. It says, in the name of love, what more? In the name of love. Bono has tapped into, I think, the essence of the parable of the Good Samaritan, only by mirroring Dr. Martin Luther King's presence and his message of nonviolent resistance, but resistance nonetheless, he shined the light on the true path of honor that has been repeated again and again and again for us in the many, many different scriptures of our tradition. So as we head into the unknown, may we do it with this wisdom. May we refer to those mystics and poets and those masters and teachers that have died before us and that are still among us. May we do this in community. May we find strength and sustenance in each other's wisdom, in each other's eyes and presence. May we do this in the name of love. What more in the name of love? Amin, Ashe, and blessed be.